Hello ladies, it is I, Mr. Essential, coming at you once again. And today I do not have my trusty D&D character sheet with me, nor do I have my document of essentialness. And I should actually, since I'm doing a commencement address, have something to represent a high school diploma. Which I don't have either, which sucks. So I'm going to have to use this post-it note to represent my D&D character sheet, which will represent my document of essentialness. And now, let's get right into the essential essentials of high school graduation. I'd like to congratulate all of you on graduating, but I want you to think about this. You're going to graduate, but yet you missed your senior year in high school. What does that tell you about the value of your high school education? Okay, and now many of you are going to go on to college and you know, and colleges right now, because of this, they are giving credits to people that didn't go this semester either. So what does that tell you about the value of a college education? Okay, all you're getting with a high school diploma is a ticket to the next step in your life. And all you're getting with a college education is a ticket to the next step in your life. And in no case do they teach you the skills you really need to survive for the next 25 to 35 years because when they tell you you're the hope of the future that's how long it's going to take for you to be the future because the generations that came before you they are not going to give up control until they either retire or die okay so you're going to have to play second fiddle for a while and a lot of the time while you're playing second fiddle they won't even give you a bow now I know that many of you don't know what a fiddle and a bow are. That's why we have Google. You can look it up. Anyway, the things you really needed to learn in high school and college are, are just a few very simple things, okay? Now, one of the things they tried to teach you was showing up on time, attendance. And here's the thing. Once you leave your education, your formal education, whether it be high school or college, and you get into the workaday world, Every day is a pass-fail exam, okay? If you don't show up for work, you get fired, okay? That, you need to remember that. Show up or lose job. That's, that's rule number one of the workaday world. Now, the other things they didn't teach you was, I'll bet you have not had one class, not even one class, in office politics. They have not taught you how to suck up to the boss and how to backstab the person in the cubicle next to you. These are skills that you are going to need to learn to succeed, especially if you want a career in politics. Okay? And other things that they haven't taught you. How to, how to, how to shift responsibility. Okay? The, the, the phrase they all use is passing the buck. And it's an important thing because if you're responsible for something and it goes wrong, you're screwed. Whereas if you put it off on somebody else and it goes wrong, they're screwed. Occasionally things go right and they'll get the credit for it, but more often than not, things go wrong. So just remember, when you get out in the workaday world, you want to suck up to the boss, shirk your responsibilities by giving them to somebody else, but show up on time and look good. If you can look good and do nothing, you'll go far. Anyway. You are the hope of the future as long as you look good and don't do a damn thing. And ladies, if you're looking for a, an entertaining evening out with someone who looks great in sunglasses, just drop me a line at themrcentral at gmail.com. Thank you.